Christmas cable. Yeah, so I'll let her left and follow those. Oh, you can turn and burn. Yeah, yeah. turn and burn and get over them. <laughs> I think, uh, uh, I think. Uh, uh. I think we're going to have to move the boat some more. I don't know if we can drag it that far. I think we can, we can try it. How are the gauges doing? Because it seems pressure seems to be dropping. We got something on. Fine. Fine. I just like a little bit of dumping. I still got suction on. No zero. <laughs> It looks like the high pack target has shifted quite a bit. Yeah, where are we going? To this hydrophone array that's in frame right now. So oh. I don't know why there was a hydrophone yeah. target yeah, down, down below. Here, yeah. It's because the boat changed its heading. That's a lot of difference. I wouldn't expect it to be this much. It almost now aligns more with that old target taken in 2017. Yeah. Or no, <laughs> never mind, that's on the right that's of the text. Yeah. Can, you, can you pen a nav screen, please? Oops. It's quite a ways away. Okay, turn back around and light up the hook. I can see it here. Let's get right above that so you can we'll keep the that uh, and the porch view. Do you want me to move the ship? We do. Right Stand now? by it. All right. So we want the hydrophone under the porch, Jake. The cable? The hydrophone. Oh, the hydrophone. Yeah. Back up. All right, going back. Misunderstood. Lost the plot. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make that a uh, t-shirt. We've only Lost done this plot. once before, so I'll forgive you this time. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is um, stay above this in the porch view okay and we'll move the boat to uh, okay. get the hook in front Should of us. Should we just go straight north? But I'll we'll stand by. All right. One thing at a time here. My little reptile brain can't process so much. It's oh. not that right in your uh, bubble camera. Yep. When you get there. A few degrees for me until that's centered up because I've failed horribly at math. <laughs> okay, Megan, 20 meters. Uh, three, four, five. Okay. Bridge now. <coughs> 
Can we make a 20 meter move? Three, four, five. So what we're doing now, since you know USBL is a bit gross for this, so we're we're sitting over the package as we refer to it, and then we're lighting up the hook 22 and a half meters away, and so we're using the inverse of the ROV's heading <coughs> to move the hook towards us. So in theory, this target should slowly come towards us and when it's about five to ten meters away we'll fly out grab the hook and then all we have to do is uh, back up five or ten meters with the catenary out in front of us so we can see the cable to, if we depending on how far away if we're ten meters away we'll probably see the clump, the clump in sonar yeah because only a seven meter stinger as we call it the traits Usually have like a you know ten to twenty meter stinger below the headache ball, but all you guys have is a seven meter wire rope, so we're a little bit on the short side. But you know the shorter the stinger, the closer you got to get to the to the headache ball. But the easier it is to get junk off the deck, so that's why you have the short one. <coughs> Yeah, crane, lim crane and rigging limitations, unless you have some sort of clamp-on clump weight, which is not always uh, easy to do. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's a little crane, so a little stinger. My backhoe is bigger than the cranes on this boat. <laughs> I, I like the new crane. I mean, <laughs> considering we used to just run off of the one crane. This is a welcome addition. Yeah, yeah, it's been kind of nice. So we got an extra crane and two two inches uh, on deck. This is a bit. Cruise. It's a little. <coughs> this is a bit slow. This whole process here, but sure. But it allows us to do things we could never do on the Nautilus. I mean. Yeah, because. Uh, Do you yeah. remember in 2020, Dan, our, our way of getting these hydrophone arrays and everything down was to send down weights and floats and clip the floats in and then release the weights and launch it all to the surface? Yeah, it's kind of painful. Yeah, it's painful and leaves a lot of weight behind. It's really not, not an ideal situation. This is much, much better. It's still slow because we should have a heavier, you know, a proper clump weight on that wire so it moves you know a 20 meter move is probably going to move it like 10 meters in the next 10 minutes if we're lucky yeah pretty light gauge cable as well like you're not it's not doing us any favors yeah yeah it's just a yeah ctd wire right yep It's uh, so tonight. It's far away. The last couple we've done, it's been uh, within 10 meters of Atlanta, which has made life a little easier. We got a little out of the box on the last one because uh, we got greedy on the ship moves and moved the ship too far, and I move it back. Where I come from, if you have to do more than three ship moves doing this, you're getting grief from <laughs> deck farming going, what are you doing down there? Because he's antsy to, you know, get on with his work. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, we're pretty confident with our, so we're relying pretty heavily on our sonars here to keep us out of trouble. The uh, <coughs> biggest risk for us now doing this is uh, not the 6 8 down wire, it's the getting our tether wrapped up in the. Right, because Atalanta seems to have maintained a decent distance, so it's just keeping your tether.
tight, I guess. Yeah, normally you would do this with a, you know, you have a tether management system. Yeah, TMS, already. yeah. A TMS, yeah. So you can, you know, keep your tether, and they come out of the top of the vehicle, so you can, even if you do get wrapped around the wire a couple times, it's not hard to unwrap yourself. With the tether coming out the back of these vehicles, it's, you know, if we get tight, we can't turn because we're held by the tail, literally. So. Yeah, I've never seen, like, it seems like TMS systems aren't that that popular on these sort of scientific ROV. No, they're really not, no. So I don't know that I know of one that's kind of in the region, even, or available to us in any way. I'm surprised uh, Sebastian doesn't, now that they have, you know, that big boat with a big proper offshore crane that they don't, you know, just buy a... Who, who runs Sebastian? Uh, Schmidt. Oh, okay. Is yes. that on the Foul, foul Core? The, the foul, foul Core 2. Foul Core 2. Yeah, it's T-O-O so. -O because it's also Foul Core. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. The, the limiting factor on these smaller vessels for a bigger ROV system is the power requirements and the deck loading for a bigger winch. Mm -hmm. All right, so. I guess TMSs are typically big and heavy. Uh, I mean, on the size of your compared vehicle. to Argus or something like. No, actually, they're the same weight, but a bigger, uh, you know, one-inch wire for to have four thousand meters of one-inch wire. It's uh, and a proper launch and recovery system. That's the deck loading for that is you know it ripped the deck and all this apart, and then the generator. You know, you need a. A 300 kVA generator to run all that, or 800 right, kVA right, generator, right. right? Some weird. They just require more power? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 150 horsepower ROV. And, but the point is, Falcor 2 has, you know, with that boat, has all that built in. They have a big winch and big dedicated launch recovery system, and they're, they're still using a, a vehicle that was, you know, made for a small research vessel. They could put a couple. Well, maybe they're doing it piecemeal. Yeah. They could get a second ROV and do two ROV ops. Totally. Most boats that size do indeed have two ROVs. In fact, it's probably got a moon pool and a side launch. Or two side launches on each side of the boat, my preference. I don't want moon pools are nasty, yucky places. <laughs> they try to put a moon pool on the Kila Moana. It didn't go well. No. I used to work on this old barge and they had a moon pull on it and occasionally they'd make us launch the ROV. You know, we'd move the junk around on the deck. Usually they were both over the side, but occasionally they would try and put it through the moon pool and it was just a horrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> Ripped the ROV to bits coming through the moon pool and weather and and weather this like I don't know the thing was probably 25 square feet and this wall of water come out of it eight feet in the air and then rush over the deck three feet just enough to like take you know people off their feet. <laughs> it sounds terrifying. It was uh, just a horrible place. <laughs> Any oil you get stays in there so when the ROV goes through everything's coated in a nice you know film of oil all the cameras and everything if you have any junk hanging off the ROV as we occasionally do when we recover just like we're gonna, <coughs> gonna have on this dive that's you know, hard to get through and with the TMS system if you have a dead ROV trying to get that through the moon pool it's a nightmare well we're making progress we've moved Five meters. The hook has moved five meters and the boat's moved. Well, the line has moved five meters. So one of the other things of concern that we're watching is what we call our happy heading. So ideally we want to have Atlanta behind us and in line with Herc and, uh, and the hook. So when we fly up we can go plus or minus 90 around the wire if we have to without wrapping Herc around it. 
<clears throat> at the moment we're like you know already 45 out is that the that's the cable in atlanta that's a, that's a tether that's, that's a tether, a tether. So as the ship moves northwest, Atalanta will also move northwest, sort of giving you a new happy heading of correct of yeah. southeast. Yeah. And then that way, when you come, you pull the hook in, and then you go and hook up to the package, and you they start to haul up. The package so should like swing away from Herc, and Herc can sort of back up towards I Atalanta. Yeah, yeah, we'll chase it up a bit. We'll probably follow it up a ways with Herc and then watch it go by Atalanta. The tool basket went by at 10 meters, so we had a beautiful view of it in Atalanta's camera. Oh, very cool. That's as close as we've come, and that's <laughs> close the closest you want to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hook should uh, magically appear in your camera there soon. Uh, f 16 meters. I keep, forgetting, real slow. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. We should put so some of the things to help for this cheater bits is um, you know those cheap glow sticks you can get. That yeah, the uh, crack for ones. Camping, yeah, those are really good to put on the hook because you can see them. They'll stay glowy for days, right? Or a day. I think I see it. So a lot of times they'll crack a couple of those and put them on the wire. Oh, that's a cool idea. Hook. But, uh, yeah, shiny tape. The pink hook's not that hard to see. See it bob up and down right yeah. there. We have that highly reflective tape that we put on some things. Yeah, that, yeah, we actually are using the tape as our target when we go in to make the grab. So yeah, here comes the hook. This is kind of how we have to do it when we're around a lot of subsea structures. You know, if we put the hook or the headache ball in the mud, we risk entanglement with high value subsea assets, which you also have a lot of down here. So. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, it's going to take a little longer. I didn't realize our offsets had changed quite so radically with the vessel's heading change. Yeah, Rennie had mentioned that that had been a recurring issue current, like during this cruise. Yeah. I knew it was an issue, but not quite that. Yeah, well, he said that it, it's been offsetting things like up to 20 meters. 45 degree heading change moved it 25 meters. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm, but no. it shouldn't do that. Um, but that's what it's currently doing. Yeah. I think there's a, yeah, there's an offset somewhere in, yeah. the, in the beeswax. Based off yeah. of heading, there's going to be something. Well, every yeah. time we run the sonar dyne calibration, we've been getting um, interesting values for heading, so. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's that's the real reason he didn't want to change the heading. <laughs> it <laughs> might be. It could, it could be. <laughs> that might be the real reason. <laughs> you have to ask him about that one. Ready, if you're listening, the wires aren't tangled, but we're lost. <laughs> <laughs> So 
Another interesting, uh, what do you measure on your nav screen, the distance between the beacon and the ROV? No, I usually don't measure that. Between oh. where the, the transducer head is? No, no, the ROV and the, and 15 the meters beacon probably. and the wire. Oh, okay, yeah. Just under, just under 15 meters? It's about, yeah, 15 meters. Right. Let's jive in with the sonar. Let's bang on. 15 meters. So I'm going to reduce you a division here because I can't do that seven and a half math. We could have put the beacon in next, like the that extra beacon we have down there could have gone next to the hydrophone array and then yeah. we would have had really good four point. That is, that's a legit technique. So you have a beacon on the package and a beacon on the hook and you can make them all happy within your... 1% water if, depth tolerance. If, if the beacon on the bead bag had come down with a carabiner, we could have just clipped it on. That's a little little lessons learned for us, probably. Yeah, but putting them next to each other would be just as good. But, yeah, we're using yeah. the ROV as a beacon. To, yeah. To, uh, I don't think it's going to move anymore. Okay, let's do another 10 meters on whatever the last heading was. 345? Yeah, take care. Bridge nav. Can we move 10 meters, 345? <laughs> Thanks. So we were at 22 and a half, so that got us, 20 meter move got us less than 10 meters, so a 10 meter move should get us Less than five. <coughs> we also got impatient last time, and we went and got it at 10 meters away, and then we had trouble backing right up over the target. And we were because you were too far. Yeah, we or the it was it drifting towards you still, or if the closer we are, then when we run out, grab the hook and pay out, and then back right up. Then we're over what we need to hook up. If we're too far away, then we're doing the same thing we did when we were first looking for this, or laterally and left and right, trying to keep <coughs> the catenary out in front of us. We did it. This takes, you know, takes longer. So you can't turn around and look for it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fly fishing rod. What's that? You just need like a fly fishing rod and just you, like snag it. <laughs> <laughs> it's also challenging with the magnum because it's not the. I'm used to doing this with a five function with the jaws are like this. Here you can Speaking of magnum. Is the elbow working? I hope so. We're going to need it. Which way do you find it easiest to fly in, Jake? Was it this way or the other way? That way. This way? Yep. <clears throat> I feel like when it's the other way, I can't see around the jaws. But Roger. And that's enough of an angle there for you to... Yeah.
DVL is drifting again. Indeed. DVL has drifted off a couple meters again, Megan. Not sure that. D the DVL has drifted off. If I turn on the down lights now, I still see the hook. Okay. I think the uh, tethers are tugging. Yeah, come down the tether, not tethers. Only one. We are getting further away. Be easier to pick up the hydrophone and move it over to the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where we hook into this thing? I didn't, I didn't look at it. Did yeah, you? there's two opportunities. There's like the there's a lifting eye on top, like a steel let's eye. Let's have a look, Jake, while we're waiting. Kay. Yeah, it's worth a look if you guys haven't seen it. I did not bother to look. No. The eye might be too we small for the hook. We did inspect it. Yeah, the, the eye looks pretty small. So there's also a lifting strop that's hanging down, like a steel wire strop that we can hook into as well. Um, whichever you think will be easier. Oh, that's the seismometer. Yeah, that's the BBS and the CTD. I think I drifted right a little bit. I think those were placed east of the hydrophones. They were placed east. I think I was in auto XY on the DVL reset, so it probably shifted me. <laughs> yeah. Oops. There it is. There it is. <laughs> 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 yeah, I did that probably twice. Two hands to hook this thing. Well, we can get the hook on the top there. Yeah, so that's just our kind of pipe and bent rod lift ring. And then we have this hanging straw that's choked, obviously, that has another eye down yeah, below it. I cannot get down there to put a hook in a hanging straw. Yeah. That ain't gonna happen. The the little gate on these pink hooks is I should go through there, right? pretty small, yeah. I think it will. Whether the hook wants to straighten out nicely is a bit maybe a different story, but uh, I think we can hook that. Hooking the straw up would be so that would be another step, so I'd have to then let go of the wire. Yeah, and it looks like it's and pretty narrow, so without some help that strop's not gonna take the hook gate very easily. No, no, I'd have to to do that, that way then I'd let go of the other the down wire with the magnum and then grab that strop. Yeah, so open it up. So we're trying to yeah. 
yeah, easier to, to clamp onto something solid. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so what's the height? Did you get a height, an altitude on that thing? We should know that too. So we're going to back over it at that altitude. Five meters? Yeah, five meters. Four and a half meters. So you won't hit it at four meters? Yeah, four or five meters are good. Yeah. You'll have to come back up to light up the hook, I think. Yep. Okay, well, it's ten meters away. We could wait all day or we could go for it. I say I think it's high enough we can yeah. go for it. I see it right there. Uh, before you fly up there, can you come down two meters on the winch, Megan? <coughs> I'll wake the winch operator up. You can pull that wire ten meters easy. So remember you're heading to... One three five. Yeah, oh great. Happy heading one three five. Nail drill, hopefully. Aiming for that white tape again? Yeah. Just above it. <coughs> I would aim for it above it last time it heaved up. Yeah. Dangerously close to the jaw. Oh, I'm getting tugged. Getting tugged. <coughs> okay, hold on. Let me pay out some tether here for you. Good thing we have a 50 meter tether. We won't be able to reach the damn wire. <laughs> Good that we're getting that kind of separation between Atalanta and the hook, though. I know that was that's always everyone's concern. Yeah. So you felt the heaves on the boat there? Yeah. I'll wait for those to. I don't know if the old Magnum could take it. <laughs> the shilling vehicle I grab on to, this. I ride the ride the wire all over the place. I'll rest it probably part. <coughs> I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing. Good. Okay, you can slide down a little. Woo! Grabby. Beautiful. Okay, back up. Back up hard. Backing up. A little, get Come some up. slack. Okay, you can pay out on the winch. Make pay out two meters. Winch now. Pay out two meters. <coughs> Come on, shoulder. Come up. Okay, hold that for a second. Holding. Put a long strap on it this time. Uh, you can come back down a little bit, Jake. Yep, come come down, down closer to it. That's it. So come down another couple meters, Megan. Winch now, come down two more meters. There's the hydrophone right there. Yeah. So good.
Roger. I mm, think we're good for another two meters, make it. I'm down two meters. Catenary there in front of the vehicle. Everything's mm -hmm. supposedly under control. I'm gonna Those weights are five meters away. Yeah, perfect. Roger. The bummer is, is the hook's at a real funky angle. Let's see if I can do something about that. Could bring my heading a little bit more around this way. Yeah, as long as the wire is in front of me, I'm not right. bothered about the rest. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would you prefer the hook on a swivel? No, but I keep forgetting to tell him to tape all this junk up. Definitely not on a swivel. Okay. And I couldn't control it at all. You see how it's flopping around there? While that junk yeah. was duct taped up, it would be a, more of a stiffy. Just the shackle to the thimble. Yeah, all yeah. that stuff should be yeah. taped together. I keep forgetting to tell them to do it. No, that's a good lesson. There you go. Put it in the notes. And then it's not all floppy and it doesn't get, um, you'll see when we hook it up, it's the wire is going to try and go around the wrong way on it. Jake's gonna fly it in for you. We get a chance to hook it up. Come on, don't get Do too it, close. It's showing off. Come up a bit. Get the tension on there, right? Uh, I'll do it with the craft here. Cut. Or the uh, oops, wrong button. Taking a little tension here with the magnum, so when I let go of it, doesn't unhook the hook. <coughs> Show your logo. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, a happy spot there. Yep, happy. Down a bit on the shoulder, get the wear away from us. So you should just be able to float up now. You shouldn't have to thrust up. Roger. Let's go dead stick. Okay, Megan, you can start coming up easy on the. Uh easy as in, do you want to do steps or just no, come just up slow? No, come up slow. Winch now. Let's come up slow on the winch. Are you still happy heading, Jake? Yep. Happy, happy. I feel like riding the winch wire. <laughs> A lot of times we would Let's ride the it. we would ride the whole mess up, but since our bumper bar doesn't have a good horizontal across the uh, top, yeah. and then we get that wire in behind our sonar or camera or something, <laughs> dangly <laughs> lights and stuff, and we. So as soon as it starts taking a little tension here, I'll let go. And that if the thing was all taped up, it wouldn't be in danger of flopping over and getting all funky. Oh. Come back. 
back up a little, maybe. It should be, but... Okay, I'm gonna let go, you can back away. Oh, I let go too soon. Back away a little bit more. Back away. Okay, they should start uh, getting a load here soon. You can watch it come off to see a bit. Yep. I'm gonna turn off the down lights. You can tell them they should start getting a load. I don't know if they can tell or not. No, probably not. They should see tension, right? Isn't that winch? Winch control. I don't. I don't think our tension reading okay. is that come accurate up. at that depth. Uh, we should be having a load right now. Uh, package is off the C4. We'll chase it up. The package is off the C4. They can come up a little faster, 10 meters a minute. Yes, Ten you are clear to go faster. 10 meters a minute. 10 meters a minute. Coming up. Right there. <coughs> so we'll chase it up for 30 meters or so. That's good there, Jake. Hold right. up. Wait for it to come up. Let's see how the cables and all. This thing has a cable hanging under it too, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be up. dragging up that messy cable that's running to the southeast. So at least it's not under you. Mm. I'm get a hydrophone and an ROV bonus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll chase it up to 30 meters just for fun. thing we went a little pear shaped there when we had the cable on the porch when uh -huh. we first got it. Yep. Um, have her come all stop there for a second, Megan. I'll stop on the winch. Go up and look at that hook, Jake. It looks funky. Let's make sure it's hooked. It came loose there for a second. around a little one side or the other. Around this way. Sure. Uh, looks okay, yeah? Yeah. Mouse is closed. It is. It's all hooky hooky. Okay, you can back off. Back off. Five meters again. And when you're ready, Omega can keep coming up 10 meters a minute. All right, actually, um, you can tell her she can. she's clear to surface. Come up. You think the uh, cable's off the seabed, AG? How long is that cable? Uh, how high up are we? 30 meters? The, yeah. I suspect it's it is. It did not look like a 70 meter. It, in the documentation, oh, it just said, said 70, 70 meters. meters. Okay, yeah, hey, have her keep coming up slow. 10 meters a minute. I guess probably ran a ways and was just kind of buried, but yeah, should be a 70 meter cable. Let's, we can hold here, Jake, and we'll just yep. watch the cable go by and make sure it's not getting snagged on anything. Yeah, us. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
Nairobi versus the Oily. That is an old monument. Yeah. From well before my time. Is it worth recovering? Or is, it, is it all scrap? Um, no, I'm sure there are parts on it that are worth recovering. We also have an obligation to <laughs> recover everything at some point. Yeah. So, no time like the present. Gonna have a hard time getting those instruments out from under the box. We can always cut up the metal and use it for our Frisbee golf course. You should hire, um, hire Canyon Offshore to come clean all this stuff up when you're ready. Canyon Offshore? Yeah. I get an ROV contractor? Proper boat up here with a subsea crane. They could do all, they could do what we do out here in a month, probably in a week. Yeah. But it costs you a fortune to get the boat around here. It might be worth it. Yeah, if we're doing, if we ever have to do a, a big core infrastructure cleanup, I'm sure that would be, something like that would be the route, not to come out here with the Nautilus yeah, and we, our little winch wire. <laughs> we put down uh, half baskets, you know, like a 10 by 20 half basket with a crane, and then ROV runs around and picks Throws up. everything in it. Yeah, and anything too heavy, we get the crane to help us pick it up and go put it in the basket. <laughs> Does the ROV have through frame? Uh, no, no, that's okay. a ropeless thing. Yeah, right. That Jason unfortunately copied. Unfortunately. Well, it's just the whole fruit through frame thing. It's because uh -oh. they don't do two wire ups. They run a winch up and down twice as fast as an ROV. And you'll have a four hour turnaround every time. So I have a broad question. How long has instrumentation been? What's that? How long has instrumentation been installed out here? How long has our, like our instrumentation been installed down here? Just all together. When did it start? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, probably the corks are the oldest thing here. Yeah, the corks were here when I was out here in 04. The, the ODP, the Ocean Drilling Program, started in 1983. Not sure when these corks came. I know they have some papers citing 1992. So, could have been around that time that, that some of this stuff started coming down. I think they started, uh, it was 06, 07, they started doing the, we are doing the Rockles thing, I want to say. For, for Neptune or for ODP? Uh, no, for Neptune, when we started, we had the cable ship. Out here doing the doing the nodes, the big or whatever you call the TRP, the main infrastructure. Yeah, 2007. And then we started doing the Rockles cables, and then. Uh, so how long has some of these Alvin plates been out here? I mean, is that Alvin's been coming out here since the 70s or 80s or something like that. be surprised if some of those weights actually came from Pisces. Yeah. They just don't deteriorate. Solid chunk of iron. We had this discussion the other night when uh, these were discovered. I want to say it's in the 80s somewhere. Alvin was out here. And then Pisces 4. That is a long cable. They're going to have to... It's going to be a long time on deck. They're going to have to hand for hand that in. Yeah. Have have, you guys have a plan for all that thing? Yeah, we've we've hauled up 70-meter oilies just by hand before. Oh, yeah. In water, they're not very heavy, so it's not not too, too bad. I mean, it's, it's irritating, but it's doable. Poor Rye has been up probably since... Uh, I don't know. 10 a.m. this morning, so she's on the long shift. Mm. Yeah. We could have back hooked the other end of the cable to that thing. Well, 
I don't know if that would have made it any easier. Uh, you're just lifting twice the weight, kind of yeah. half the distance, twice the weight. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Could get two teams and have a race. <laughs> I guess question for you, how high does the hook need to be before you're happy moving around? I think all the work we have to do is either below us or to the south because well, we just cable. have to collect the larval trap. So I guess once the, the connector on the other end of this passes Atalanta, you guys are okay? Well, chase it up to 50, 60. Depends on where we want to go and what we want to do. The more moves we make, the... So the remainder of this dive is just, we're going to go collect the larval trap, the old larval traps, which are slightly north of the new larval traps. There's a connector. Yeah, finally. And then we're going to just, we're going to <laughs> put the beacon in the bio box over top of, of the larval traps. Then we're going to get the CTD and the BBS on the porch, and then we're going to recover. Oh, yeah. So it's just clean up crew now. Yeah. Nice. So I don't think that requires a lot of movement from the ROV, really. Well, we had we had the general area. We had the uh, ROV in like the sweet spot, but now we can't like can't reach anything. We moved. What yeah, did we, we did do? move pretty far. We did we did 30 meters altogether. At three, four, five. Uh -huh. Just to get that hook closer. Yeah, and the problem now, moving the other way, is uh, that hook the won't oily. move. The oily won't move, but yeah. Atalanta will. Yeah. <laughs> you can see our conundrum. Yeah. <clears throat> Chase it up. No, I'll let it go. Let it go. Watch it go. Yeah, we can actually, we, we can come back down now. Kay. I know where it is. Okay, it's south. Like, uh, south is in down. Back down to the mud. Once Atlantis back down it. Go ahead, Bridge. Yeah, that's that's okay. fine, Megan. Yeah, that's fine. Just come around slow. Really want to mess with them. You can tell them to pivot around the crane. <laughs> I'm does just joking. Have, does he have that? No, he, he does not have that <laughs> capability. I didn't think so. You have to do all the math for that. The Thompson does. Hmm? The Thompson does. They can. Oh their, yeah. Their DP, they can pivot around the. Uh, oh. The downwire. Well, yeah. do they change their axis? So but you just have to do the measurements to put that in. Well, they have that all programmed in into the DP system, yeah. yeah. Wow. Which Most we don't. folks do. They can like pivot yes. around the A-frame or pivot around the whatever they want. They're not. They can also just turn their azipods and go wherever they want and not worry about DP crap now. We did some work on a barge that had four azimuthing thrusters and it could DP pretty crazy about it. Yeah. You could just drop a point because the cranes, you'd move all the cranes around because they're all drivable cranes on the deck. Yeah. And so you just pick your point and DP. It was really neat. Inshore work, of course. 
Is that one of uh, Hal Hertz's DP barges? Is that ITB? <laughs> I don't know who yeah. Hal is. Yeah. Yeah. But yes. Uh, one of the guys that I work. The ITB four five. Yeah, one of the guys I work for put those, did all the, turned those into DP barges. Um, it's a pretty crazy work platform with those azimuthing pods. It is. Yeah. How, how big stable. are the barges? Big. Yeah. I can try to find some stats for you, but. That's pretty awesome. 67 meters long, Ooh. seven, 18 meters wide is the one we were on. So it would take two minutes to walk across that deck. <laughs> <laughs> At 0.3 of a knot. At 0.3 of a knot. What's yeah. 67 meters? What's Nautilus? 70? It's pretty 60, close. 68 meters that's long. Yeah, that's pretty, that's so the it's same. It's the same length as the Nautilus. But it's Except a, for one big barge. flat work surface. Yeah. <laughs> cranes running that's around. That's crazy. The deck. And just shipping containers for all the all the different rooms, like there's nothing <coughs> else on it. Yeah. Wait. Okay, I'm going to come right down and uh, turn the heading to look that way. It's helpful. That's a nice jelly. Yeah, it is. Um, so the only thing back at the IP is the silly larval traps. Uh, yeah, they're yeah, they're near the IP. Yeah, they're a little northwest of the IP. And once we get those, so we can go get those now, and then come back here and get all of our other toys. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Can you zoom out a little on the nav screen, Megan? Of course, the uh, waypoint is going to be all wonky. Yeah. Yeah, Everybody it's hard to hard to know bit. now. Yeah. So they're going to be about only about twenty meters north. Given this, let's see, we were we did the hookup here. Yeah, 20 meters north, so the where do you reckon those larval traps are? Um, larval traps are probably 60 meters south of Atlanta. They should be about 10 meters at 300 degrees from the IP. Yeah. It's probably about 40 meters south. How bad do you want those larval traps? Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad enough to risk entanglement? E I mean, that's your call. <laughs> we're, okay. <laughs> we're okay to wait. I don't give a rats about the larval traps. Well, we're gonna you want them bad enough to wait for yeah. an hour? Um, if, if that's what it takes. Yeah. You can tell the uh, tell the wind she is clear to surface whatever speed she likes. Roger. Just don't drop anything on us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't go throwing sandbags. You are free to surface. Come up at whatever speed you're comfortable with. <coughs> If we're just waiting around for an hour, it's a good time for Danny to just fly around, right? Yeah. Um. Let's head, to head off at 225 for a minute, stretch it out, see what you get. 225, Roger. Look for sonar targets. This comes south of Argus and then looks, er, <coughs> south of Atalanta, then looks south. We should be able to get a sonar range. I'm going to come right down on the 
could probably drag Atalanta that far. <laughs> <laughs> Just set Atalanta on the deck, it'll be fine. Give you 50 meters. Oh, well, yeah, you're dragging me now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Uh, is that happy for your tether turns? Those are the larval traps right there. Is that oh, yeah, larval traps right there. Are those the new ones or the old ones? Is that happy those for your... Uh, those are the ones we need. Uh. Is it happy to go around that way for your tether turns? Yeah, okay. I'm going to look north with a uh, little Atlanta. So we'll go tail to tail. Are those the new ones or the old ones? Old ones. Those those are the, are the, old ones. the old ones are close. The new ones are far. And it's the old ones we want. Uh, these right here in front of us? Yep. Okay, yes. stand by Jake. Let me come down. <laughs> You could tell where our landing zone was when we placed them. <laughs> yeah. so what we're going to do here is go tail to tail on the vehicles, and then I'm going to come down, uh, put Atlanta real close to the mud, and luckily we don't. We can we can pull Atlanta quite a ways, but. We just can't change our heading now. Should we point our camera up so if we do hit the mud with Atalanta, we don't... Yeah, I'm not going to... I got an altimeter. I'm 20 meters off the deck. You mean our ship's heading? Because I have a feeling he's going to want to change that. Yeah, no, I'm not bothered about the ship's heading. Okay, just... If he trying to figure out which heading you're talking about. Uh, I'm talking about Atlanta's heading. So, at the moment, the vehicles are tail to tail. And Jake's pulling out Atlanta to the south. He's pulled it uh, 10 meters. Okay. I'll grab these puppies up and put them in the box. Put them in the box. Put them in the Ooh, box. Almost stuffed them. Bag them in the mud. Starboard box? Yeah. Come on open. There's a beanbag you got to throw out first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, you so. need, if you need the bead bag for ballast to get us over to the CTD, it can go on the porch and then we can ditch it off the porch when we're loading so that up. Source. I don't know what I need to do. H1. How did you do this, Denny? Source uh, ROV. No, you got to change the camera. Source, the can't. Source, source ROV. And I want a. <laughs> Port bio. <laughs> Starboard. <laughs> That's not gonna help you. <laughs> That's a great view. <laughs> Looks like we're on a hurricane. So the other so one, the little I gotta change. Just there was a, right a bit, of, bit of a bouncy landing with it, it all stretched out. Did you change the camera? You did change. I it. did. Yeah, we cover them with those um, orange elastics, and then we place these. Elastic bands that I think have like you a ma magnesium time release corner. or some sort of subsea time release. Okay. So it'll eventually pop Where's open, bubble? you know, uh, after the ROV leaves. You're not clicked. Um, and that's when the sampling begins. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, really interesting. Uh, I think we just, I think we might have sent maybe Did our last lights? two down with the sub. Otherwise, you could have definitely seen as we sort of assembled that elastic part of it. We do it in the lab just before the dive. It's a little touchy. Yeah, show me what you want. Tell me next time. Is there a beanbag in this box? Yes. There's mostly a beanbag in this box. There's a bright orange beanbag in that box.
I didn't really get to watch much of the excavation. How did it go with the adductor? Very well. It was quick. Nice. I didn't, I didn't get to watch much either. I had to it, do a nature call. By the time I was done, they had the hole. Yeah, it took all like 25, 30 minutes. Was That's it, it eh? Yeah. And no, any clogs or anything? It kind of clogged towards the end, but we had basically finished at that point. So oh. I think we stuffed it in the mud after getting all the sand out. Right. <coughs> and how many bee bags did you spend covering it at the end? Oh, uh, all but two. All, all but two. Them. All but two? Okay, oh, yeah. So like Sorry, eight. all but two. We could have used the other two to do the five meters of cable, but they decided that that wasn't required. Did did it all release okay from the acoustic release when we did the, the large bead bag drop? Yeah. And getting the strap out of it wasn't any trouble? Uh, define trouble. Well, <laughs> I mean... It was a challenge. It was a challenge, but just because you know, it, it, it kind of binds yeah, under the load. Can you uh, wreck back and look down? Wreck and wreck. So uh, it wasn't that bad. No, it it just, wasn't bad. It took, uh, we had to uh, find the, uh, we had to put the choked part in the magnum, in the magnum, the magnum and then yeah. unthread it yeah, six it, inches at a time, but. I think we had to do something similar to the one in MEF that we went to go yeah. undo, which is fine. I mean, when the straps choke, they get tight. They don't just pull out, but it's workable. It's just two steps. Fail. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting the dust off the legs. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bubble cam looks really good right now. So used to looking over there, I can't even look in front of me to do this. <laughs> I'm going to plan ahead, you got two. I'll try and put these. Beautiful in the back here and save room for our beacon. Yeah, we should be a bit too in there, a beacon. That monkey fist lined up in the half thruster right there and the whole larval trap goes in this <laughs> <laughs> That is pretty close there. <laughs> it just looks close. It's like three feet. Uh, it's dangerously close. That's pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> would that take out the thruster? It would definitely take out the larval trap. <laughs> That would be the end of this dive, too, because Herc doesn't fly straight or the dam with only one. Took off auto heading, so. Oh, I was just look, glancing at the uh, winch wire, see what it was doing. Twenty-one thirteen. It's going the right way, away from us. If 
piece now. Okay, closing the box, closing the box. Now I can see why you put a grate on your uh, lateral. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the down lights too so I can see what's going on here. The hose action. I'm glad Danny can't behaving on this dive. Yeah. So glad we worked that out. So well worth the effort. Yep. Now we just need to make it where it's a permanent attachment. Yeah, I'm so glad it was your idea and not mine too, because I've been wanting to do that for years and they don't listen to me. You <laughs> rock up. <and laughs> can, you know how hard it is to get a camera changed on this ROV? Really? Five <laughs> years I've been trying to do that now. <laughs> Danny is like here two minutes and. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's that fresh perspective. Well, I yeah. think it was the uh, the fact that I made a few other observations and recommendations during the build that seemed to have worked out pretty well. <laughs> and it was just tickled me pink <laughs> to hear Trevor <laughs> refer to it as the pilot camera. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, and he was on about how we can, you know, how he can see everything. Get it on there permanently, so that's like huge traction. Yes. Yes. Good. You know, Buy another know. one for backup. Once we're all set here, I we think can. We're all set here. Then we can make our move over to the CTD broadband seismometer um, and beacon. Okay. We'll pick up the beacon first. That'll go in the starboard bio box. If we could just give it a shake so that we don't contaminate the larval traps too much with all the sediment on it. I know you kept it mostly out of the mug, mud, which I appreciate. Um, yeah, and then it's dealer's choice getting the rest on the porch and secure. Okay. Do you want your sonodyne back in that little screen, Dan? No, um, okay. I'm over it. I'm watching it here, so it's it's getting back where it's supposed to be. It's done a nice little arc around. Okay. Anyone's guess where the oily is, but. <coughs> okay, six help. eight one's bigger than oily. Not gonna uh, Are you gonna be able to reach? Um, CTD? If you turn and burn to the north right now, or just back up as I come up. But the CTD is over here where it says temp. temp. You, won't be, you won't be able to turn. You'll have to back up back as up. I come up. I'm like 20 Beep. meters off the deck Beep. here with us. You might as well just come up 10 meters or something. I'm dragging you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, give him, don't tilt him too much. You'll lose that bean bag. Oh, yeah. Might be able to. I'll stop there. We can. I don't know if you got enough to turn and burn now. I think Dan will have too much fun flying our vehicle. Hmm. I'll rinse. She can just rip us off the bottom. See if I come. I need to come counterclockwise, and that will take your half turn out, will it? Should be able to see all that mess with your sonar. <coughs> oh, it's going to be north. Sorry, it's right under these red dots. Yep. 
I gotta come to the north more. down now, you'll pick it up on your sonar. More to your north, come straight north now. Right. Dan, that tether's getting awfully close. Uh, you're coming up. I'm coming up, thank you. Mm, there they are. So, before you sit down here, just think about this mess yep. for a minute. Uh, <coughs> if you come to your left and put the connectors on the left side of the vehicle and the CTD and beacon on the right side, mm -hmm. kind of nudge your porch in that little area with the ball right in front of you. Yep. In theory, we can reach it all. Might not be able to reach the last connector out there, but yeah. So you're thinking that come around a little more, a little more. Use your sure. come around Get some more first. Getting think. Yeah. Crap, really? Yeah. So nudge your, use your bubble cam and. Put your porch like right next to each one of those, can't we? Yeah. Cleverly laid out to gather all of our trash. <coughs> Have the shoulder under it. Yep, I get the bandy cam. Yeah. That was the quickest needle thread I've ever seen in my life, though. Freeze fail. Right on there. the shoulder. So the only way we could get out of there earlier in that situation was to push out. As soon as you lift up, it pulls it out. Hmm. I fight you. It's gonna come right back onto the. <laughs> Where do I want it? I want it on the inside of the manipulator. No. Outside. 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 That's what a bungee is. Well, I thought we had it rigged on the inside. Lighter. everything in <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a comment earlier on the uh, chat says why don't we bevel the end of that pipe it make for easier insertion I was like you know that'd been a great idea in the five minutes it took to design the system you know what 
Why am I even messing with it? I'm over the hose. I'll just come up on deck with it flopping all around. That and everything else. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to have fun to getting that on deck. Oh. Uh, Dan is towards the end of his shift when he starts the sentence. You know what? It's not your problem. <laughs> Came dangerously close to cursing on SBL just now. <laughs> you and your hose can go. Take a long walk off a short pier. Yeah, who put that hose on there? We, we, we got a knife. Okay, <laughs> I will now gently shake the $20,000 beacon. <laughs> I think AJ said it was only 12,000. Only yeah, 12. 3,000 meter rated. Yeah. Okay, that's all the mud off of that thing. I mean, that's only like, you know, what Dan makes in six months. Okay, you want to open the starboard box? Opening the starboard box. That's good. Good, good. Good. Good, good. Freeze fail. Freeze fail. Well, at least you went the wrong direction when you freeze fail, not into the vehicle. Opposite of freeze fail. Halt fail. Why is the arm not moving? Yeah, that button's getting really temperamental. Okay, that's all the stuff we need in that box, right? Yeah, oh, that was great. Making sure that. Closed. Kept the larval traps clean. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. As long as we keep those monkey fists out of our thruster, we'll all be happy. How did it ever function without this camera? So there is a cinch strap, which could be used to secure the BBS. I think it'll have a better better grip on the BBS, and then maybe the Magnum could be used to secure the CTV, or both. Cinch strap is... You'll have to pull that out now before you stack on top of it. Or you wait 15 minutes. <laughs> And go ahead and porch out, Jake. Porching out. <coughs> Toss that beanbag. All right. As long as we don't start floating up. I'm really going to laugh if that piece of... Uh, you got 100% down on, do you? No. You might want to put it on now. It's on. Sure. Just trying to keep track of these best we can. Yeah, it's very helpful to know where they are when we're starting our dive and planning out our movements, so... Track and bead bags is part of our ONC pastime. Yeah, <laughs> part of one of our favorite things to do. <laughs> Especially now that we're putting beacons on them. Yep. 
Did we ever find those two we just kicked over? No. We, uh, we have a good idea as to where they're pro they probably are based on how the other ones drifted. It's in an area that we didn't we didn't look. Okay. So. Are you uh, wrecked back? Yes. <laughs> Hope Looks like something. you're dragging a dead body up on the porch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, thanks, Snap. I've got what I needed. Cool. So rigging the porch up on the way down, to get the CTD next to the BPS, it, it might need to be sort of oriented 90 degrees to how it is. Uh, sure. In the sense that the, B, the BBS could go on one, like the left side of the porch and the CTD on the right side, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you'll get them front back. Which way do you want this end facing in? Um, whatever is easiest to use the manip on. So if having the yellow pipe outboard is easier for you, that's fine with us. <laughs> Doesn't, the CTD disagrees. <laughs> uh, it's the cable. It's the cable. The cable. You'd spin it. 5 minutes before watch change. Uh it is <laughs> time to completely wreck the viz. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. There you go guys. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> They're probably all sitting in the lounge right now. Listening. They're listening yeah, <laughs> and laughing. You know, mm. works both ways. So we're meant to put a cinch strap on this, or can we just grab it with a magnum? One? I mean, if you... There's also the two connectors you wanted us to grab? No, there's, there's like four or five, four? maybe five? eight. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, three connectors, <coughs> two for the BBS and one for the CTD. Yeah, I think those can hang. Uh, no, we want to put those on the porch. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to hang that jewelry down that far. Okay. Yeah. 
That's fine. I am. Uh, the idea behind the cinch strap is just if the craft can't come up with hydraulics live, it can. It can. Can and has. Okay, then we'll hold on to both. Uh, is that connector? There's two. Right yeah, we'll there, get those there. last. There's one right here. Right here. But the steel cam hat tells you where it is. Mm, it's right here in front of me. Just can't quite see it yet. Can you rack out? Rack it out. It was underneath that CTD. Oh, I, I see the cable going. Oh, that one goes to that one, right there. Ah, oh, there it is. Huh? Oh yeah, that's the CTD connector over there. Yep. <coughs> yeah, that's right where we put it. Freeze fail. Fletch it. You could. Nope. Drop. Um. Just start digging in the gut in the dirt and drag it over. You'll lift off. You'll lift off. Nope. Just adjust your head to the left a bit. Roger Just that. barely float up and adjust your head to the left so I can reach it with the craft. Don't pull uh, a CTD I don't up think so. Place. He's at 50, she's at 1500 meters. I don't know. Well, she's at well, it was at all 1500 meters. Forward just the touch. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good, good, good. Uh, well, you're on navigator, so. I'm about. I'm about to head down in like two minutes. Can you see the last one? I think it's right to the left. I think I'm actually kind of, I think it's kind of a I thought I like landed on it. Can't be too far from the black cable because they do eventually join up. Wait, that, lo we're heading? that looks like the CTD cable. I think so. Well, there's no, like the black cable and the green cable for the BBS should be bundled together. 
Yeah, there it is. See it? Oh, oh yeah. It. Nice. <coughs> Hey. Hey. Look at this mess we're leaving you. Just wreck the viz and I'll get out of the chair here. <laughs> <laughs> Please fail. Do you know when the next dive is going to start? I think it said in the emails or on the board. Roughly, what, a four hour turnaround from yeah. when we surface? So. Okay. How long does it take to get up from this depth? Two hours, so five hours. and then four, so that would be nine at the earliest. Okay. Yeah, when you got breakfast and second breakfast, <laughs> so call it one, maybe. <laughs> yeah, call it dirt shift.
Ooh, that's still hot. All right, great. Hello. Hello, B team. Hello. Bye. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, Lord I'm out. It. See ya. <laughs> Uh, as you heard in handover, we're ready to ascend. There's a lot of stuff on deck, so we did not use, we opted not to use the cinch strap and instead to keep both arms live for recovery. Yeah, so we'll I'm gonna have pull a, drop a weight right now. Okay. Can you have a camera rack out, please? And then dip down all the way. So you can see down in the nonsense here. This is, in theory, the same weight that we came down with, so you, I mean, you should still be buoyant, but I guess you just want to ascend faster? Uh, Beacon is in there now. Oh yeah, the beacon. And mud. And mud, yeah. yeah we did do more mud sampling. A little now. bit more mud sampling. Less, yeah. Just gonna yeah, grab one down here. Nope, wrong. Try again. Nope, wrong. That's a rope, isn't it? It is, yeah. Is it the right one? Nobody knows. It's one of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull blindly. Yeah, it's either right or wrong. Oh, I think we have our hanging hose. It is hose. on the right. Yeah. <laughs> Did we never sheathed our hose? Oh yeah, that's true. The vacuum. Oh, this is hose. not coming off. Wow. Huh? Where can, where can you <laughs> see the yeah. drop weights? Underneath the vehicle. Oh, it did come off. Great. Yep. Oh, you can't. Okay. See uh, can I see? Yeah. Anything <laughs> at all? Okay. Um. I like to put this in the, in the tool. Draw out right of touch. Yeah, I shall oh. go. You got a six inches. That CTD will shift, maybe. Keep going, keep going. And oh, good right there. there. Wow. Yeah. I'm racking back in. Thank you. Coming up the touch. Hey, AJ. Yeah. Do you want to note on your site diagram that there's a weight down here? Yeah, thanks. There's already, there's a bead bag there as well, but yes. Yeah, but I note that there's a Hercules weight. Alvin plate? What are we calling these, Trev? I'd say a Herc weight. Herc weight. So what is it? It's a single eight pound square plate? No, it is 16.5 in water, 20 pounds in air. Okay. In what shape? Square. Rectangle? Rectangular, yeah. All rectangles are squares. They don't say that. No, nope, that's not what they say. No, it's, it's all, all squares, squares are, are rectangles. rectangles. All rectangles are boxes. <laughs> um, Closing that up. Okay. Look at that cute What's little tubular oh hydrozoan on that wire. <laughs> That's Chips. exactly what I was thinking. Yeah? yeah. You like yep. it? So the this this hose yeah, is hanging loose, just so you know. Working on it. What, what? Ah. This one. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and we're going to squeeze that right in there. No problem. It's actually part of our stowing technique. Oh, it's all muddy now. Yuck. Go away. All right. Can you please line me up on that? Yeah, and I'm going to rack back out again. Yeah, Roger. Ooh, we're all twisted through there. That's probably not great. That's as good as I can give you, bud. Okay, can you zoom in, please, video? Good there. Also, good morning. Good morning, Pete. Good morning. Welcome to the party. Yeah. The dust party. The dust commercial, did you say? The dust party. Oh, dust party. And done some. Yeah. Just want to get it started first and roll it in, but 
You gotta not miss, I guess. That's part of the yeah. part of it. There we go. There you are. Nice one, Mitt. Okay, come wide, please. Rocking back in. What do you bet that Alvin Wade is gone for life? Oh, yeah. As soon as we come up, it's just going to salt right over the top of it. Yeah. You probably remove that from your site layout diagram, AJ. He's not listening. Doesn't no. matter. He's busy. Never listens. No. He never listen. No. Okay. Any obstacles around that I need to be avoiding? No? We're good? No, you're good. No, there's a CTD monument, but it's far but away. it's far away. Yeah. yeah. And how much cable will be hanging below? Well, since, since you have the connectors, the CTD cable's not very long. Um, uh, I'd say th maybe a, probably 10 15, 10, okay. 15, yeah. All right, no worries. I think I would rather. Magnum Look, a friend smash. has come to visit. <laughs> yeah, to say goodbye. Our documentation is saying it is a 70 meter cable below you, so it will be 35 meters. But it doesn't okay. feel like it was that long when it was on deck. Maybe it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Okay, Go with the documentation on that one. Um, can you squidge more not over the side with the CTD? Yeah, probably would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. We can just level you up a little. Are you going to pick it up and move it back or something? I'm just going to get the cable out of there. All right. Where's the, yeah. Where's the controller? Oh, there it is. Hidden. I should probably, oh, you could porch in, I guess. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, not yet. I could, I might a little bit, but it's, um, let me see what happens. <laughs> there we go. That's starting to move the CTD there. Okay. Interesting. Not That'll really. allow it to clear the mud out, though. There we go. She squeezed in there. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. That's live. Okay. Good to go? Never been better. Okay. AJ. Yeah. We all done? We are, yeah. All right, coming up. Let's see what happens here. How are they doing with that winch deck stuff? It is at 930 meters. Ish. Is the red beacon on ROV nav? That's what I'm looking at there, Megan? Yes, that's it. All right, can you set that up, please? We're not, we're a little bit heavy, but not much. The mud clears that out. Yeah. AJ, I said add that weight to your site layout diagram. You're never going to find it, though, so I wouldn't worry about it. Why do we have zero tether wraps? Don't know. That's that cable does look pretty long. Yeah, it's long. Yeah. That meant you want to start picking up? Yeah. Which way are we going to spin? Don't know. There's no way to know. Nope. How did that get zeroed? That's a great question. Hmm. Well, six of one, half dozen the other. 50% chance, meaning 80% chance you get it wrong, so. Yeah. Math works for me, mate. Yeah, it's like plugging in a USB drive. You're gonna get it wrong. Then you flip it over, it'll still be wrong. Then it would've been right the first time. Yeah, so can you come either port or starboard and we'll get set up? Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm well clear first. Sure, yeah, of course. Cables absolutely. apparently 70 meters long. Yeah. We do have them looped back, so, so... Yeah, I want to come up to about 35 and then I'll spin around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a nice little goodie, little present. Unknown to other wraps. Looks like All right, I'm gonna come around to starboard. Okay. Megan, Actually, it looks like your friendly guy is going to make it on deck with us. Oh, was that? Looks like your what friendly guy is going to make it on deck with us. come up a little as, uh, oh, just as we're the little hydrozoan. Yeah. Hopefully see yeah. some of that in there. Yeah, Roger. As to what's going on. Roger that. There's a few of them. Yeah. But they won't be as uh, as pretty when they get to the surface. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. I think we've been operating with a turn in it anyway. Like just based on how it was lying sometimes, it would all have some corkscrew effect. I'm gonna play with Atalanta lights, see if we can see it better. Fifty up, so we're clear anyway. That doesn't look great. Have you see. still got your auto head in? Yes. Okay. Just till I we're finished looking at this. Yeah. Come up a little slower. Come on, no, don't 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 spin around completely. That's not what I want to do. Yeah, I'm trying to come around as slow as I can so it's not yeah. to pull you too hard. Yeah, Roger. It's crazy that when it goes over 180 degrees, it takes the shortest path. Mm. It doesn't keep track of its turns.
Hey, there's something going on in the software, mate, because I've just come around. Or is that because you're spinning? And it's I, coming back down? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to keep a line to you. Yeah, okay. I can't, can't get there yet. Almost there. Coming over. Okay. Now I'll start coming up again. back down a little towards me? Yep. Just so we forget that tether slack. I think that's what you were talking about is Yeah, it just comes take slack a look. on it. Slacker, anyway. Slacker, yeah. What'd you call me? A butt face. Oh. Good morning, Josh. <laughs> morning. I got Davey Giggle. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not that hard, really. <laughs> Don't take it away from me, Dave. <laughs> you guys want some really good news? No. You know I'm going to tell you anyway, right? Yeah. yeah that's why. I uh, on our next dive, we're doing another double transect down. Blue water watch, blue water watch. What does a double mean? This looks pretty good, eh, Dave? Down and then up? Uh, no. We, so. uh, on our... I don't know. First thousand and last thousand. That's the one. Can you spin the starboard, please? Ten meters a minute yeah. for... Just don't want to check that out. I feel like that's really more bad news for that you, Josh. That puts me back around in line where yeah. I want to be anyway. I do. Yeah. I can't stand. That's where I, I mean, need to be right there. For okay. the scientists, anything. No. But I don't know. At least it's like four hours of yeah. joke time. Tilt down. Tilt down. <laughs> yep. Tilt down. Are you voice commanding the tilt? I'm yelling at it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Never mind. My name's yeah, Josh. I think that looks good. Yep. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Stream it away. Let's commit to that even if it's wrong. Yeah. There's no way. So is this an arm live for as much as we can recovery? Roger. What did you say? They've already paid about 400 meters, haven't they? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we want to hold for a while or what? Because define a bunch. <laughs> 